Warning, to reduce the risk of severe injury or death, read and follow all instructions. Never let children operate or play with the gate controls. Keep remote controls away from children. Always keep people and objects away from the gate. No one should cross the path of a moving gate. Test the gate operator monthly. The gate must reverse on contact with a rigid object or when an object activates a non-contact sensor. If necessary, adjust the force or the limit of travel and then retest the gate operator. Failure to properly adjust and retest the gate operator can increase the risk of injury or death. Use the manual release mechanism only when the gate is not moving. Keep gate properly maintained. Have a qualified service person make repairs to gate hardware. The entrance is for vehicles only. Pedestrians must use a separate entrance. Save these instructions. For safe, correct operation of the automation, make sure that the following requirements are met. The gate structure must be suitable for automation. Take special care to ensure that the wheels are large enough to support the full weight of the gate, that a top runner is installed and that mechanical limit stops are fitted to prevent the gate from coming off the runner. The characteristics of the ground must ensure sufficient support for the foundation plinth. There must be no pipes or electrical cables in the area to be dug for installing the foundation plinth. The base plate must be positioned as shown in, and also plate must be level with the middle of the pinion. Remember to maintain a minimum distance of 10 mm between the rack and the gate. Assemble the foundation plate as shown in. Prepare a foundation plinth as shown in and install the base plate providing one or more conduits for electrical cables. Use a level to check that the plate is perfectly horizontal and wait for the cement to set. Set up the electrical cables for connection to the accessories and the electricity supply. Ensure that the cables protrude by about 1M from the hole in the base plate. The FAAC Model 884 Automations For sliding gates are electromechanical operators which transmit movement to the leaf by means of a pinion with rack coupled in an appropriate manner to the sliding gate. By using a self-braking motor the system is guaranteed to be mechanically locked when the motor is not in operation so a lock does not need to be installed. The gear motors have adjustable mechanical clutches to ensure correct use of the automation. A convenient manual release device allows the gate to be opened in the event of a power failure or malfunction. The electronic control unit is incorporated in the gear motors. The 884 automations have been designed and built for vehicle access control in industrial areas. Do not use for any other purpose. Components of 884T Control Board Important, before attempting any work on the control board connections, programming, maintenance, always turn off power. Manual operation if the gate has to be operated manually due to a power failure or malfunction of the automation, use the release device. Open the door in the casing using the triangular key provided operate the release lever shown in manual. A safety micro switch in the release system prevents the automation from being activated by accidental commands. Close the door and open or close the gate manually. Before mounting the operator on the foundation plate, Mount the pinion on the transmission shaft and fit the casing provided as shown in. To mount the rack on the leaf it is necessary to construct special supports specifically for the type of gate. Shows an example. For positioning. Mechanical installation. Remove the casing and position the gear motor on the foundation plate. Fit, but do not tighten, the washer, the split washer and the nut as shown in. Fit the adjustment screws on the gear motor base as shown in. Adjust the height of the feet while keeping the gear motor raised from the plate by 1 cm and maintaining the distance from the gate shown in. Use a level to check that the operator is perfectly horizontal. Tighten up the four securing nuts provisionally. Set up the operator. Place another rack element next to the first and use a section of rack to set the teeth of the two elements in phase as shown in. Open the gate manually and weld the remaining supports. Proceed in this manner for all the rack elements and supports until the entire gate has been covered. 
Check that none of the rack elements come off the pinion during the movement of the gate. Now weld the track is same level starting from motor side. Important, do not weld the rack elements together. After installing the rack, Lower the position of the gear motor by adjusting the level screws by about 4 mm to ensure correct meshing with the pinion. Components of 884T control board Electrical connections FAAC 884 Sliding gate wiring diagram Safety device Push button Limit switch, emergency stop and manual release switch connections for the connections follow this diagram. Description, J1 Connector. The J1 connector is used for rapid connection of cards mini deck, decoder, RP receivers. Installed by fitting the accessory card so that the component's side faces the inside of the 884T control board. Insert and remove the cards after cutting power. Programming. To program operation of the automated system, use the micro switches as shown below. You must press the reset push button after every programming job. The normal program for the system, you must be turned at micro switch number 1, 2, 3 should be on. The new XP20D safety device. Adjustable photo cell. Comprise a transmitter and a modulated infrared receiver with a range of up to 20 meters. For the connections follow the diagram which previously shown in. First test after the connections with remote control. Test the safety device activation by moving hand. Operate and observe the gate conditions. Gear wheel element track elements, smooth moving, and don't forget to check the taking amperes in with load. When installation is complete, affix the danger warning label to the top of the casing. Thoroughly check operation of the automation and all connected accessories.
operating ambient temperature, minus 20 degrees Celsius to plus 55 degrees Celsius. If control board getting temperature more than 55 degrees Celsius, it will be stop gate automatically until the temperature get down below 55 degrees Celsius. When performing maintenance, always check that the anti-rushing clutch is correctly regulated and that the safety devices operate correctly. Fault Conditions The following conditions cause certain effects to normal operation of the automated system, microprocessor error, safety electronic timing trip operation is interrupted. If continuous work time exceeds 255 seconds, limit switch is disconnected or both engaged. For the more information, model FAAC 884, media documents, technical specification, manual, ML PDF, check the description below. And don't forget to subscribe our channel, Geotech. Thanks for watching.